Socks and push-ups, not the best. That's a good set right there. All right. Yeah, so I'm not really getting any views today. So I decided to, it seems like everybody else is into drama. This is gonna be on, uh, not drama live. What, baby? What's that? Oh no, that's why sleeping. Yeah. Be right back. I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. Yeah, but those are old. Those are old. Listen, you're gonna wanna do it for yourself. You don't want to do it for other people. Because at the end of the day, when the doors are closed and it's time to go to sleep, it's really only you, it's nobody else. Unless you're a cuddle buddy. But me, I'm a lone wolf in this world. Every girl I have, I don't even want to cuddle. But that's not the point. The point is, is that you got to keep your head up. Man, it's a war out here. It's pretty, pretty bad. That's why I said, man, F all my haters. F everybody that don't mess with me. F everybody that disagree with me. I don't care what you gotta say because you're not gonna make me richer and you're not gonna make me successful. You're gonna wanna do it for yourself. I'm telling you, it's worth it. You gotta cut off all the negativity out your life. Become more positive. Become more in tune to your brain. Be in tune, you know? It's always good to be smart. Look, a lot of us, we live just to breathe sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Poop here and there, pee here and there, and go to sleep. But what people don't understand is that we were born with a brain, right? And people lack to want to learn anything. I mean, if you can make your brain smarter, your brain is a muscle too, why not just do it? And you have 24 hours a day, and you're telling me you're not trying to wise enough? You could read books, you could read eBooks. There's no excuses. You could read the newspaper. It's all over the place. But instead, people are rather do drama. See, what drama does to you is just puts you in a negative rabbit hole that you don't want to be into. Doesn't get you paid, it doesn't get you anywhere in life, and actually, it doesn't get you any cool points neither. It doesn't get you anywhere, as a matter of fact. Matter of fact, it gets you depressed. So the best thing to do is just seek your way out of it, kind of live your life like you're in a swivel. It's the best to be like that. See me, I'm a very angry man. I have a lot of anger that I'm working on as of right now. Um, you feel me? I have very, very, very short temper. You look at me the wrong way, I get mad. You say the wrong thing, I get mad. But I, didn't, I wasn't born this way. I was born to be violent, but I wasn't born to be aggressive and be enraged. It was also because people have uh, said mean things to me and I'm traumatized done mean things to me and I'm traumatized but it's okay because there's therapy and it's okay there's like hobbies and there's like things that we could do just to train our minds that we're not always mad see me if I was just stuck in drama all day long I'd be a mad individual you know what I'm saying you cannot be miserable in this world look I'm 22 years old I'm successful I'm a one percenter I have no excuses to let anyone get to me I must be insane you're crazy I'm on top of the world, that's how I feel. It's my opinion. A lot of young men can't talk the way how I talk. You know why a lot of young men can't talk the way how I talk? It's because they doubt themselves. And that is the problem. Guys, they, you can do whatever you want to do. Anything that you put your mind to, you could do it. But instead, you just rather be in drama and argue all day long and worry about things that is nowhere beneficial. Look, it's simple. You know, be a family man. Be a stand-up man. Be a good man. Be a good citizen to your own city. You know, go to church. Maybe do community service. Become successful. Own a business. Do something with your life. 
Read some ebooks, become smarter. Every single day you wake up, that is your one opportunity, that one blessing, that one chance that God has given you to wake up is just a blessing alone. And you still can't become successful. It's crazy. If you're not good at reading books like me, watch a video. Plenty of, I mean, plenty of motivators out there. Joe Rogan, um, Jordan, uh, Jordan Peterson. You know what I'm saying? Those guys are amazing people. They will teach you the ways. The guy, the, the strong, bald guy that was 300 pounds, he was insecure, he got skinny. I forgot what his name is. Dude, you can do it. Look, I'm hitting these push-ups while people are just screaming their lungs out. And I did this because I'm getting no views today, so, and I'm an attention seeker. <laughs> Anyways, so I was a juvenile delinquent at the age of 13 years old. I really didn't know what I was doing. I thought I had friends. I thought I was so cool. Uh, I was skipping school every single day. I was smoking. I was doing everything that I wasn't supposed to do. I was diso disobedient to my own mom. My dad died when I was only four years old. She was the only one that could control and parent me and my brother. And guess what? One woman parenting two kids. They are twins, they think alike. It doesn't work that way. So we had a lot of freedom, we would do whatever we want. So I never really got to understand the, the life of being a child. And that's always bothered me. I've always been bothered about the fact that I never got to be a child. My childhood was drama, not dramas, trauma, trauma. My child was a lot of trauma. I, I always, even this to the, to the day, I always have to look behind me. I hate that feeling, but it's always been stuck on my mind. I always have to look behind me, always, always. I always had cops looking at me. I was always a target. I always asked myself sometimes, I'd be like, why are people so against me? And then I started to realize they're not against me. But really, in reality, I'm, I'm being targeted. I used to question myself, is there something really wrong with me? You know? I used to love and enjoy being alone. I will take long walks. 30, 40 minutes after that, I'm getting arrested for something. You know? It's just, it was always something. I was in and out of juvenile systems week by week. Oh, those are the Venegas brothers. I, we were known in the city. But that's not the moral of the story. The moral of the story is like, I've been through a lot, but here I am. It's almost like it's never happened. Guys, if I put all the time that I did, I basically did almost five years. But there's people out here with excuses and excuses. Oh, I can't make it because my job this. Oh, I can't make it because this. Dude, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, I was either in and out of jail or I was in jail. Like in, in jail, like where I had to serve time where there was no in and out. With that being said, there shouldn't, and I was on house arrest about two times. There was, there's no excuses. So, and when I turned 18, I snapped in the finger, I said, I'm gonna become something. At age 19, I made six figures. At age 20, I made seven figures. You can do whatever you want. There should be no excuses. Instead, you lalagag all day long and talk about other people. That's not gonna make you successful. Come on, hit these pushes for me. Listen, being the successful thing is a trophy. It's not, it doesn't just come like that. If that was the case, anybody would get it. Listen, we're not talking about a trophy that's hung up on the wall. We're talking a real life trophy, something that God holds up for you. So you, if you want it, Boy, you better chase it, homie. There should be no excuses. You're gonna want it bad. You have to wake up, go to sleep all day long wanting to be that person. You know what that means? That means I gotta be fly every single day. Even if I wanna be Alex, I gotta be fly. Do you understand what I'm saying? Fly is the tough one. It's bad being tough 24 seven. I don't get a break. But you know why I don't, I don't complain? Because I want to be successful so Alex can wait. Alex is laying on the bed right now, having bed rest. Fly, when are you ever going to stop? You're such a workaholic. 
because I want it. Dumbbells, come on. See this? A lot of people are saying, why don't you do this? Nah, that works out your forearms, I'll tell you. If I go like this, just straight curl up, that works my biceps. It's a bicep curl. Real nice. You know what I'm saying? Real nice. Real nice, get in there, real nice. Yes. By the way, my brother's doing great. He's gaining 15 pounds in there. He's working out, he's doing the same thing I'm doing right now. So when he comes out and by the time he's out, I'm bulky, I'm ripped, he's ripped, he's bulky, and we're not playing no games, man. So let's get to it. The rehab he's in, it's a lockdown rehab. It's almost kind of like a jail. It's adult, it's almost like an adult, it's an adult rehab, and it's like, it's like a substance part where the prisoners, they treated him for substances. So he's in there with real criminals that have substance problems, but got a break. Basically, they got to slap him, they got to slap on the wrist, and they go to rehab. So yes, he's in there with some bad people. But I had to send him his clothes today. He's doing great. He's a little bit mad, but you know, he'll end up enjoying it, and he's gonna run it, and uh, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna love me for it because I didn't want him to, uh, I didn't want my brother to go. Because let me tell you something. If my brother went, if my brother went, I would be, I would be devastated. <laughs> you understand? You wanna hear a funny story? There was one time, there was, one, there was one time he got he got locked up for a GTA. And I missed him so much. You understand what I'm saying? I missed him so much. I caught a petty charge just to go in there to see him because I missed him. I've always loved him, man. We went through war together. And we went through everything together. If he goes... Come on, hit these dumbbells. Work out, man. You, you got weight on you, work out, man. You know, I got a lot of haters, man. But the haters make you great, baby. Haters make you great, man. I'm shining, baby. Haters make you great. Nobody. Nobody got my back, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm a real one, honey. I'm a real one, honey. You understand what I'm saying? I keep it, honey, honey. I'm a real one, honey. And I die about it. Come on, man. Hit, me put, hit these dumbbells, man. Come on. Come on. Hey, I, hey one day, you ain't gonna see my face, man. Understand me? One day you're never gonna see it, homie. It'd probably be our best, though. Come on, man. I'm hit them. I gotta get big, baby. I gotta big, get big. You know me, man. I was getting big at one point. I was getting big a year ago. I was, I was ripped, homie. I was in the right. I was two months in ripped. Cause I got good genetics. I'm Cuban. I was ripped. And man, I went back to the addiction, brother. You know why? Cause I, you know why? Cause I lost myself, homie. And it's there, cause I lost myself, homie. I don't show y'all the real me, homie. Let me tell you something. I remember I used to lie, I, I, re I remember I used to lie battle, man. Uh, a while back ago, I don't know if y'all remember, sports on here, and then I stopped. Every time I was live about it, I was off something. I was addicted, homie. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I had to get off the live. I was withdrawing. I was withdrawing. I was getting skinny. I wasn't eating. I wasn't doing I was in the bed, shaking. And I, I had, 
I had nobody. I had nobody. Understand me? You understand me? I was already an island boy, but I no Kayla wasn't around at this time, guys. I had nobody, man. I I call I call my baby mom. Why she dating the the musky chick? I called her. I said, I said, I said, out of every moment, I, I need you. I need you back. I think I, I feel I feel bad. I'm going through a lot. She she wasn't even there for me. So I hung up and I just watched videos of Florida prisons. Great right up. Nobody know the real me, homie. I only know the real me. I appreciate y'all witnessing it. <laughs> Understand? And you know what made me? And, and you know? And you know? And you know what made me stop? You know what made me stop? You know what made me stop? I, I was scrolling through TikTok. You know the for you page? You know the for you page? You guys know what I'm talking about? I don't know the 40 page. Do you know what I'm talking about? You guys know what I'm talking about? The 40 page? I was scrolling. And this is right off, right when I'm trying to stop my addiction. And I'm thinking about the cravings. And I look, I look at this guy. And I look at this girl. A little, a little cute blonde girl. It's his daughter. And she loves him. And she loves him. She loves him a lot. Understand? So I stopped. I couldn't do I couldn't I couldn't do it. You understand what I'm saying? I couldn't do it. I, I I can't I can't live. I can't I can't I can't have my daughter watch me just deteriorate. Y'all gonna watch me work out today. Says nobody wanna pay attention to me today. I'm an attention seeker. Don't play with me. You wanna watch Wavy and Chris babble on on live. Two of the most fakest people in the world. The most fakest people in the world. But y'all don't wanna watch Fly. I don't take so many risks. I don't take so many sacrifices. I, I'm the one that paved the way. I'm the king, homie. 
I'm the one that, I'm the one that made everything cool. Am I lying? Oh, and a mob ski guy that was in my comment section laughing, boy, I'm going to book a, a, a thing for you, and I'm, I'm going to steal off on you so hard, you're going to fall in the water, and I'm going to walk away. Simple as that. I don't want, I don't want to join nobody. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't want to tell nobody. Work out that pain. Thank <laughs> you.